Let's learn about Earth Engine apps. Uh, Earth Engine apps are one of the most powerful features of the JavaScript API that allows you to build interactive web mapping apps very easily. If anybody has ever tried building a web app, you know it's not an easy task. You need to be a full stack engineer, learn JavaScript, HTML, CSS, backend servers, cloud and hosting and configuration to be able to host a public facing app. Earth Engine makes it very easy as an analyst and user of Earth Engine, you just can write a code using a few widgets, put together an app, publish it on Google Cloud for free, and you'll have a link that you can share and it can be an app that you can share with people. The Earth Engine apps are built using the Earth Engine API. This API is only available for the JavaScript version because if your apps run in your browser, they need to be created using the JavaScript API. It provides you with these widgets like drop down selectors, etc. You can put together and build apps and host it on Google Cloud. You may be the only analyst or maybe you work in a team and you say, I've done this analysis. Let's get it out to the stakeholders. We've done some analysis. Let's users see what we've done. Also explore and see the results. To see what's possible, I want to show you some apps. Um, and there are different kinds of apps. So you know what is possible using the Earth Engine API. This is an app that allows you to explore this data set called Firms. Firms is a data set which is, it uses BODIS to detect fires and it has got detection of fires. In India, uh, there's a big problem of agriculture fires where people you know, burn their crops. Stubble burning is a big problem and you want to track that. Uh, you can use this app uh, to track that. And if, if you're a non-technical, non-Earth Engine user, you'll be able to use this app. So this is an app. You can see this looks very much like Earth Engine without the code part. Right? When you publish an app, you're, you just get a search box and an app that looks like this. You can set some widgets. Here it says, I want to see it in 2021. This is the day range. You can draw some polygons. And when you click Submit, it'll take this region that you drew. It'll query your Earth Engine collection that you configured, and you can create a chart like this. So this is showing this firm's data and saying this is the count of fires within this polygon. And you can see a lot of the fires happen towards the end of the year in winter. And you can kind of see that. So you will write the code for this using the Earth Engine API and then add this widget so your users can explore this and interact with this. And these apps do not require an Earth Engine account. You can make it public or private if you wish to and just share that link with anybody and they can play around with the data. This is another app for exploring urban heat islands. A lot of these apps uh, take form of this explorer style where you have a map, you have some panel, and you can display some data. So here, this is displaying this concept of urban heat island, where a lot of the urban surfaces heat up more than the surrounding vegetation surface. And you can compute and quantify what is this effect that affects uh, this urban areas. Since it's Earth Engine, a lot of the studies were earlier focused on each city or each region. This is a global study because you can have, you know, modest data processed for entire world. So you can browse the map. There's some legend here, you can click and as soon as you click, you can see it's generating a chart. So it'll create a chart for that point and show you, and it'll give you some values. So this allows you to explore this data and trigger creation of the chart using this. The way it would work is you know how to create a chart. You know how to create a chart given a geometry. All the app will allow you to do is capture where the user click and use that input as a geometry to create a chart. This is another useful app. Uh, we have done flood mapping for the same flood that we've done. Now you say, I've done this analysis of flood. I want to share it with people on the ground, people in the stakeholders. You can build an app like this. They can choose a particular admin region. And they once you select it, it will zoom in to that particular region. Everything else is masked out. So you can see what's the situation in this region. It will load some data layers and it will also load the flood layer. So it says this blue pixels are where the flooded Pixel, flooded pixels are based on our analysis. They also loaded the layer for human settlement. So you can see where the floods are in relation to where people are. So you can say, if we need to focus our rescue effort, maybe let's focus around here because that's where there's more human settlement. Here, there is nobody lives here. Okay, so again, uh, same analysis what we did. You can package it up in an app, share it with anybody and they can use that. I want to show you more advanced app, what you can do. This app uh, did a study on tiger reserves and it wanted to compare the tiger reserves against non-tiger reserves and how the vegetation condition affects in both of this. So you can have a drop down 
and you have this thing like a split panel. So this is showing you before and after. So if you have two images of before and after and you want to show them as comparison, you can create this kind of swipe maps. So here you can create the swipe maps and you can kind of explore two variables. This is very useful in kind of change detection apps where you have something before, something after, you can do the change detection. It also has some statistics. You can create tables like this. And also you can click somewhere and create some charts based on this data. All right, so again, all of this is possible with very little code. Once you learn how the API is set up, you can use this and create uh, the charts and apps just the way you write your normal Earth Engine for this. Let's build the apps. How do we build the apps in Earth Engine? So we'll use this UI module, which contains all the widgets. So far, we've used the EE module with Earth Engine API functions, map module for the map. We not yet used UI. We only use the UI.chart. The UI model contains all the widgets that you can use. So you have UI.map. So if you want to manipulate the map, you can have an app with one or more maps. You can have like 10 maps, which are all linked together. You can create those. A panel. Panel is what you saw on the side of the app, where you have you can put some information and display charts, etc. You can do a button checkbox, a drop-down selector, slider, and so on. So all these widgets are there. Right. So let's dive into the code and learn how to use this user interface API.